Now I realize I don't talk about the process of making these videos very much, but I had a nice break over the last couple of days. It's let me think a bit creatively again. So I've decided that's what this video is gonna be dedicated to. A good day for it. Cause I've got a new toy. You may have seen a lot of other YouTubers using something like this. And I've always held off cause it's more stuff to carry, but this is like a bendy tripod thing, but I've bought this for a good reason. So this is my main camera that I shoot 90% of all my videos on. Sigma 20 millimeter 1.4 lens or 16-35 from Sony, which is on this one, my second camera. Sony hot shoe microphone. Uh, the sound quality isn't great, but it doesn't have a wire that like has to plug into here. Then it gets mashed up when you put it in a bag and stuff. So I found it's the best solution for riding with it on your back. Now the biggest problem I have with this camera is the screen. And you can imagine when you're talking to the camera like this, um, it would be nice to have a flippy out screen. And this screen does flip out, but only that much. So you can't actually see it. That's the most annoying thing about this camera, but I think I've come up with a solution. Old smartphone. So now I can have this permanently set up and I can see what the camera sees. Looks like something from War of the World. Is that weird when I keep looking over here to see the screen? Anyway, a step up. But a work in progress. I bet they release one with a flippy screen next week. So, the Le Mans 24 hour race. Because it's a French race, they need a medical certificate. So this morning I'll head into the doctors, hopefully get one of those, to say that I'm fit and healthy to race 24 hours. Racing 24 hours is a silly idea, even if you are healthy though, so. Well, unsuccessful mission. Get to the doctors and apparently they don't do medical certificates. They said go and ask the organizers of the event. And that's how I ended up at the GP. They said go to the GP. Oh, you can just pay someone online to do it. It's fine, I'm just gonna pay someone online to do it. Interlude over. My second most used camera, the GoPro Hero 7. Because of the lack of stabilization, I always avoided using GoPros until they released this one. Now this pretty much sits on the front of my bike always. Uh, I whip it out when it's raining or I don't have access to my big camera for whatever reason. The image quality is good. You can still shoot flat. So you can push the colors a little bit, but you can't zoom in and out. And it still looks like GoPro footage. And that's kind of annoying. So this is what the image from the GoPro looks like. It's super, super wide. The sound quality isn't that great. You probably hear the truck next to me. It's a tiny camera, but it looks like action camera footage. Anyway, back out on the fixed gear, heading to meet James and Lawrence. We've got a bit of an announcement to make. All right. He's lost. He's been here hundreds of times. Follow your nose. He's on the, he's here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lost Lawrence. He knows exactly where we are, but he's gotten lost somehow. What are you riding? It's a uh, daffy sir. So. You can't, you can't ride that. It's a Pinarello. Jump off and I'll put it in the river. You took so long that I drank your beer. No, I got lost. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Whose is it? Got, you should have just stayed I on got, the on the um, river, bro. Yeah, I got lost. That's what I'm saying. How do you follow the river? You have to cross at some point. Keep the wet stuff on the right hand side. Oh yeah. Sam. Here you go. Oh no. Holy morning. Because. Cyclocross. I mean, oh, you're gonna put it on for the UCI cyclocross race that you're gonna do in speed plays? <laughs> yeah. Look, there's turtles and shit. Oh, I'm gonna strap it to my chest. The GoPro is perfect because look how small it is. It's smaller than the fluff on the top of your camera. You can attach it anywhere, but I will be attaching it to my chest. <laughs> it's glued. <laughs> I love you, mate. Look, why do they? Buy, make things. So it's so like Project to... USA all over again. But if I put one on my butt, <laughs> you fucking asshole. We're going to announce something, aren't we? Francis and Loris are getting married. Not nice. really. We are doing another project. Not the USA this time. It's not the USA. They already know. Yeah. What? There's Vietnam. <laughs> we're going to Vietnam. So we're going to ride from. Where Hanoi from? to Ho Chi Minh. Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh. Are you doing bike fits again? Anyone, anyone between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh that wants a bike fit will actually post a route very, very soon. Oh my goodness, look at this big people. Oh. You missed the big announcement. Nice oh, crop top, mate. Other key pieces of equipment that contribute to making these videos. My phone. This is a camera that is always in my pocket, so I tend not to forget it, which I sometimes do with this one. The image is good, but I am looking at upgrading it 
to a wider lens. Loads of phones have that now and it's a little bit more friendly when you're talking to it. A huge stack of hard drives. Uh, these are all two terabytes each. I keep all of my footage and you should as well because you never know when you might want it. That is quite an expensive way of doing it. You could store it all in the cloud if you wanted to have your laptop sitting there uploading all the time. But with the sheer amount of videos that I'm making, it just doesn't really work. Last but not least, something you guys have been asking about for a long time. This is a custom made camera strap. You can probably try making your own. Now, quite frankly, it doesn't matter what camera you have. If you've only got a phone, that's totally good. If you've only got a GoPro, I've made tons of videos before just with a GoPro when it's been raining and uh, they've come out really cool. I'm very lucky to have two of these big Sony cameras. The image quality is great, but bear in mind that this is the main thing I do and it took me a long time to save up for these. Equally, this has its limitations as well. You basically can't use it in the wet. If you've got an interesting idea for a story or you're covering an interesting event, you're still gonna be able to make a good video with something like a mobile phone. So try it. Now I'm gonna end today's video here, play around with this new rig that I've made. This video was actually really fun to make. If you have any other questions about the process of making these videos, um, any filmmaking stuff, put them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them there. Or if there's so many of them, I can make a separate video entirely. I also hope you enjoyed the intermission in today's video. Mid-November, we're gonna be doing Project USA 2, not in the USA, Project Vietnam. Riding from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh. Crack out the gravel bike for that. It's gonna be an adventure.